The embedded fractions with plus pieces in them are particularly problematic because plus is not compatible with fractions. So what we want to maybe do is get rid of the most problematic parts of the fraction, which are these divides here. Now this is a particularly complicated one because we really have to make sure we keep track of where the times and divides end up and that we're balancing the right fractions. So this one here, I'm going to get rid of the divide by this first divide by x. And again, actually, before we do this, we really should start state our restrictions. x is not equal to 0 because it is divided by x. We also have x plus 2 over x not equal to 0 because we're dividing by that whole factor here. And we also have this whole factor here that can't be equal to 0, so 1 minus 1 over x is not equal to 0. Now, we could solve for x for these ones, but this is going to be good enough to state our restrictions for now. Okay, so I want to get rid of my divide by x, my divide by x here and here. They look the same, but they're actually not the same. So we're going to have to actually deal with them individually. So we're going to do, get rid of this one in the numerator. We're going to times by x here. Now that's in the denominator of the numerator, okay? So that's actually underneath this fraction here, which is if I put a times x here, that's not gonna balance the fraction because it's not this fraction here that I'm balancing. The fraction I need to balance is actually this fraction here. So this will balance the fraction, okay? So this one on the bottom, I cannot do. But once I do that, I'm going to end up with, in the numerator, I'm going to end up with 2x squared over, okay, when I multiply this through, I get x squared plus 2, and then the rest of the fraction, it didn't touch. So I'm going to write this in black here, and I end up with 1 minus 1 over x. Okay, so now I'm going to get rid of that other divide by x. I need to times by x, and then I need to balance it with a times by x here. But remember, that's a times in the numerator, so that's actually going to go with that. Okay, it doesn't go in the bottom, so when I do this, I end up with 2x cubed over x squared plus 2, nothing, none of the x is cancelled here because there's no factor in the denominator. And then in the denominator here, which I'm going to draw a little bit longer because that's my main divisor, I get x squared minus 1. Okay, and then what I want to do is make this into one fraction. So my divide parts, I'm going to do this as keeping track of my times and divides. Those are both divide factors. That's a multiplication factor. So when I put this into one fraction, I end up with 2x cubed in the numerator. In the denominator, I'm going to end up with x squared plus 2. And I'm also going to end up with x squared minus 1, which I'm going to write as x plus 1, x minus 1. And so this is my factored form of this expression, and I only have one numerator, one denominator when I start off with this more complicated expression.